are midway through the Jameson Dublin International Film Festival and it's time for the Jameson Gala. Cairo time to be exact. Now Cairo time is a love letter to a city intertwined with a love story about a woman. Now it's lead actress Patricia Clarkson, lead actor Alexander Siddig and director Ruben Nada are all here for the screening. I love Ireland. I've been to Galway and Connemara, and, but I've never been to Dublin. But it's a it's a great city. The the vibe here is spectacular. And um, slightly different from Cairo, uh, a little uh, bit warmer yeah. there. <laughs> um, oh yes, and and, and 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 quite different. I mean, Cairo is a stunning, beautiful city, but. Um, a complicated city, but a very warm city, yes. <laughs> and did you find, as a Western woman, did you find any of the problems that your character Juliet experiences there? Did I, I encounter, yes, it was art and life, art imitating life and life imitating art. It was quite complicated for me as a woman first time in Cairo, character first time in Cairo. It was, it was, um, I learned a lot <laughs> from my character. <laughs> It was insane, actually. We were battling scorching weather. It was very hot. We were shooting in June, July. We were battling 10 different levels of bureaucracy. We were. It was. We had a censorship minder from the from the government. He was like standing right next to me at all times, like monitoring what I was doing. It was every single day, like every single minute. We were always like, "Thank God we got that shot. We have to move on." And did you have any difficulties being a female director? You know what? I, I'm, an, I, I'm Canadian, but I'm also of Arab heritage. And I thought that there would be problems. And I shockingly know. The crew was so hardworking and they were so proud that I was this Arab woman who was Canadian, who was bringing back all these people to make a movie in Cairo. So they worked so hard. It was, it was great. Alexander is your leading man and you had great chemistry on screen with him. What was he like to work with? Oh, he's a, just a dream of a man. He's kind of a... I think he's from an era gone by. I think he's a true gentleman. He's a lovely British gentleman. Men keep following me. You're a very beautiful woman. It's been years since uh, men, young men, have, have... I find that hard to believe. It was great. I mean, it was, apart from the fact that I was, I think, you know, Patricia is probably, and this is a festival where we're showing our film, and I know we're supposed to promote it and everything, and you're going to expect me to say things like this, but she really is one of the top three American actresses in the world. And to work with that sort of caliber of actor is phenomenal for me. And one of the extras that you played chess with in the scene was just someone that we were found on the road. How was that? <laughs> he was so funny. He was there. He was like, uh, can I be in the film? And I was like, yeah, of course you can. And he just had this laugh that was so infectious and made everybody else in the room laugh. So it was. he's a great actor. He just doesn't know. And are you going to get a chance to see any of the other movies in the festival while you're here? Yeah, today. I arrived yesterday. I'm going to go tomorrow morning. I never get to see the films. Stuff I mean, there's some wonderful films. And I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm bummed. So I'll have to see them in the film. We've heard that you're a bit of an underwear aficionado. <laughs> How does the underwear shopping in Dublin compare oh. to Cairo? <laughs> well, I, you know, I haven't been underwear shopping in Dublin, but I'll let you know. <laughs> and maybe I'll show you something. No, no. <laughs> That's great. Patricia Clarkson, thank you very thank much for talking so to us this evening.